I didn't ask permission, so let's do her. With, I'm sorry, Cali. Yeah, they, you know, both. Uh, I think both have been fine, and uh, you know, we've gotten, through, you know, we've had a couple of really good days of practice, so all positive signs. And as far as like them and, and possibly tomorrow, I mean, has a decision been made on that, or what kind of thought in terms of what we're going to look like tomorrow? Well, I will. We'll look very similar to you know to what we did today. Um, I don't expect any major changes, uh, but you know it's always we'll wait till morning skate to make you know to make uh, those final decisions and choices. But as of right now, I expect our group to look you know very close to what it did today. But Dave, you guys talk a lot about wanting to get practice, time, wanting to get practice time. Two days. What have you been able to get accomplished? Are you, are you pleased with what it's happened? Yeah, we had you know we had a couple of really good you know really good work days, and we you know we uh, wanted to pinpoint certain areas, and we were able to do that. You know, just you know, in general, just our our transition game from defense to offense, from offense to defense, really, you know, is is the area we need. One of the areas we needed to clean up, uh, both with and without the puck. So that's one of the areas that we touched on. Are you still going to get, still gonna get rest? Are you guys feeling rested and stuff? And then, you know, that was a long road trip. And yeah, it's it's a whirlwind. And I think you know, day day two typically when you you know when you get off, uh, you know, come change time zones three uh, three hours and. Um, you know, come off a you know a road trip that long. Usually, it's day two, day three that you start to, you know, get your balance back and uh, start to feel normal. And I think, you know, I, I believe we're there. I believe we're there. Uh, one more time. Yeah. Uh, his his flexibility is very important. He's. You know, he played played good hockey for us through the preseason and through the early part of the regular season up the middle. Uh, now we have the opportunity, you know, with uh, with players coming back in the lineup uh, to, you know, to have him on the wing. Uh, so that flexibility is really important. You know, it, you know, Ken is a guy that we rely on uh, on the offensive side. He's an important piece of our power play. Uh, and, and obviously, you know, he's, he's a real important leader for us up front, uh, whether he's up the middle or on the wing. Yes. But do you do you tell the guys to take a couple of moments, maybe pre-game or whatever, and sort of take in everything that's going to happen tomorrow night? We right now we haven't talked a whole lot about. It. I think naturally guys are you know are feeling that and uh, looking forward to it. I think you know it's it's a night where uh, for sure you know a, a lot of people have family in town and uh, uh, a lot of people that are excited about the event uh, of you know of our first game here. Uh, that being said. I also believe we're a veteran enough group that you know we'll we'll use that to our advantage. Take a few minutes to take it all in and really enjoy it, uh, and then feed off the energy that will be in the building tomorrow night. People have talked about, have talked about how with your team, it's about getting used to the arena, but for you and your staff, what's it been like trying to know like where your offices are going to be, where you're going to hold meetings? Like, have you had time to? You know, we, we've been in the building, and uh, if we get lost tomorrow night, somebody will show us the way. I'm sure they'll they'll uh, they'll send out a search party for us. Um, you know, the biggest thing, you know, the the building is unbelievable, and it's it's gonna it's gonna be great tomorrow night. Our facilities are second to none, um, and you know, it's it's gonna be exciting and new on a lot of different levels. Uh, but we'll settle in real quick, uh, you know, into a game day routine. And for you with game days, are you the kind of person that once you get there for morning skate, you camp out all day, or do you try to go back home and then come back? No, I, like? yep, no, I, uh, I'm a guy, I get out of there for an hour or two, for sure. Yep, whether it's outside for a walk in the sunshine or the rain, for that matter, <laughs> uh, or, or getting home for an hour or two, but uh, that's, that's just how my route. Early start and a uh, little break in between, and uh, get ready to go. You guys think about Vancouver yet? Do you, what do you yeah. think about how they're playing? And they don't, I don't think they have all their pieces back yet. They got everybody. Uh, they got everybody going. Um, they're, uh, they're. It's it's a real good hockey team. When you look at the depth and the balance, uh, whether it's you know uh, loading up the top six or or a balance you know through through nine and twelve forwards, uh, you, you look at the you know the changes that they've made on the blue line. 
Uh, the thing that stands out about them is they, they play fast. They play direct, they play fast, um, and, and they're, they, they start on time. Good. Thanks, Dave. All right. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.